Hi, this tutorial will show you how to find relevant resources in the Globethics Library on ethics of sustainability and environmental justice. Let us start with a simple search by typing, for example, sustainable development in the search bar. To narrow it for better organization, let's go first on the left-hand side of the page with the filters by category that you can click on with the number of results you can find in there. For example, if you go on the left-hand side of the page as GE subject, let's select environmental ethics. To narrow it even more, you can also click on Show Advanced Filters. And now let us add another one by clicking on the plus sign here and from the drop-down list, let us select the Author Contributor and write Girardin. By the way, should you want to add or remove a filter, just click on the plus or minus sign to remove, to add or remove and click on Apply. From these results, to have the most recent publications, click on the wheel here and click on Date Descending. And from the seven results here, let us open this one. And on this page, where you can see the basic information of this record, you can either click on the image of the book or on the Download tab to download this item. And you can also export for your references just by clicking on Export and select the format. Just so you know, if you would like to export on Zotero, you need to select the format Refman or Bibtex. And on this page, you can see that this is a Globethics publication from this library collection, the publication series Praxis, and the copyright license stipulated here with the digital object identifier in here. Also, you may want to see the complete record by just clicking Show Full Item Record. And to go back to the Simple Item Record, just click on Show Simple Item Record. And you can also browse our collections by clicking on Communities. Let us see the ethics collections. And on this topic of ethics of sustainability and environmental justice, you can see the following collections. Climate ethics, environmental ethics, ethics and sustainable development goals, and if you go on Theology and Ecumenism community below, you can see Ecotheology, Climate Justice and Food Security, as well as Religion and Development. Let us check the collection Ethics and Sustainable Development Goals. For searching in the collection, you may type keywords in the search bar here and search as shown previously when searching in the whole library. But if you scroll down, you can also click on each of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And in there, for example, SDG 13, Climate Action, you will find resources that specifically target the subject of climate action in the SDGs. Now, if you scroll down a little, you can see the credo reference titles to which you need to be registered to access the resources as this is strictly restricted to registered users. So let's click on the future of sustainability. And on this page, type the email address and password you sent to Globethics for your registration. Once you are registered, click on the online access link. On the home page of this encyclopedia, go to articles and when scrolling down, you can find the articles in alphabetical order below on which you can click and explore. You can also search within this title and you could also check the master bibliography, which can help you in extending your research on this topic. Also, you can check the menu here, click on titles. And from these encyclopedias titles, let us check the filter options and let us go on all subjects and let's select environmental sciences. And let us check the first one, African arguments, climate change in Africa. And from there, you can check the articles and you can also search within this title. And you can also search in the search bar above. For example, let us search for sustainable development. Here, you can see the articles on this topic, as well as the mind map, 
that you can enlarge by clicking here. And you can also click on the concepts and ideas surrounding this keyword, such as United Nations, or Agenda 21, or Millennium Development Goals, or Sustainability. And from the 4,375 results, you can scroll down and let us click on this one. And you can check the following features, especially sites with the different formats of references. Read aloud to have it read out loud. Or translate, for example, in Indonesian. You may also check the related searches and related articles on the right. Also, you can check the images here, and you can see pictures in here, as well as diagrams that you can click on for having a better view of it. Now, back to the library repository, there are also journals that can be harvested and therefore be consulted. Just go back to Communities and click on Journals A to Z. For example, when scrolling down, let's have a look at Environmental and Sustainability Indicators. Here is the description of this journal collection, and you can find the articles by keywords, or searching by publication date, or by titles. If you scroll down, you can see below the articles from this journal. For example, let's click on this one, and click on the online access link. And from this page, you can read it online on the journal's website, and you can also download it from here. Apart from these, you may want to know about other resources that cannot be found in our library. So here are some important open access databases you may want to use. In the open access aggregators, you may want to check the following databases. Core, Open University UK, Base, Bielfeld Academy Search Engine, Dimensions, Digital Science, OSF Preprints, or Semantic Scholar, Allen Institute for AI. Let's check Dimensions. And from this page, let us search in the search bar, just here, with keywords. As keyword, let us search for Sustainable Development Goals. Search. And from there, let us select environmental sciences to limit the search. Let us limit it to climate change impacts and adaptation. And as we can see, we can have this number of publications, this number of datasets, and this number of grants. However, Dimensions doesn't only provide open access resources. So uh, just so you know about that. Also, you may continue with exploring the directories, such as OpenDOAR, Open Repositories, DOAB, Directories of Open Access Books, DOAJ, Directory of Open Access Journals, Registry of Research Data Repositories, or Wikidata, which are rich resources that you can explore. But let us have a look at other resources in the Ethics and Sustainable Development Collection. Here, let us have a look first at the United Nations. You could search here by goals, and you can see here the facts and figures, or the goal targets, or the links. Let us have a look at the SDG Academy, which resources are videos related to the United Nations. Here, you can search by the following options. For example, let us search by SDG and let's select Climate Action and if you want to have the most recent videos, you can sort by and select Creation Date Descending. And now let's have a look at Taylor and Francis SDG Online, which is a publisher that has compiled this database SDG Online. Here, you could search on this search bar, as indicated, or you can check the advanced search. And you could search by SDG by selecting the SDG here, 
or if you scroll down, you could also select the SDG of your choice on the color wheel. For example, if you click on the color here, you can see that this is the goal 13 climate action. And you can see the chapters, the articles, as well as the teaching and learning resources on this SDG. So for example, if you click on the title, you can see that all of the type of documents are gathered here that you can sort by each of the document types here. So you could click on any article, but to have free access to it, you can go on the left hand side and in filter by select free to view. Or on open access. And if you click on one article, you would see the basic information of this article as well as the PDF file that you can either read online or download from here or there. And last but not least, there are resources with platforms where you can connect with other researchers, such as academia.edu, ResearchGate, Humanities Commons, or SSRN, Social Sciences. Let us check Humanities Commons. In here, you can type keywords in this search bar or go directly to groups. For example, let us type sustainability. You can scroll down and click on this group. You can scroll down and click on this author. On this page, you can see the information about her, such as her position and university, as well as her contact details, education, her work shed on core and more. And you can check her deposits here and download it. And also, just so you know, in the Globetics library, the authors can be featured to their profiles. Just go to profile here and just below click on view. And here you can directly select an author or choose from the letters here, such as the letter G. And from here, let us select this one. And you can see his biography and institutional profile as well as his work in the Globethics Library. And from these, you are invited to register to the Globethics Library and you could be part of the Globethics Researchers Network. This would be, indeed, a great opportunity to have your work visible to the public and also have your voice in the discourse on ethics, in particular, ethical leadership. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as a starter for your research on this topic, ethics of sustainability and environmental justice. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Globethics Library.